Money, cash, credit cards, those things need a home, so why not have it have gummy bears on it? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a duct tape flip wallet, which is such a cool design, and it will keep your cards and cash safe. I'm gonna use the gummy bear print, which I just love, and I'm going to use a complimentary teal color for the straps. First, you want to cut two pieces of cardstock that are three and a half by two and a half. And these are going to be the two sides of your wallet. So we need to cover these now with the gummy bear print. Now, of course, you could use whatever duct tape print will fit in with your personal style. I'm just going to take two strips to cover each side and I'm just gonna trim off the excess so it's a nice clean edge. All right, so now I've gotta cover the other side, so I'm just gonna do the same process. And then repeat this with the other piece of cardstock, so you have two matching covered pieces, and this will be the body of the wallet. So, next we'll move on to the straps. Cut a four and a half inch piece and you want this to be a double-sided piece. So I need to just layer over another piece of tape along my first piece. And then I'm just going to trim it to the size of my original four and a half inches. So we need to cut this into four. I'm gonna fold it so I can find my exact halfway mark. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut along that crease. And then because I want four strips, I'm then gonna Fold these again so that I can cut yet another two pieces. So you're gonna have four strips. I am going to lay them out along my cardstock. So the first two you're going to create an X over the center, and then these are going across the top of the second piece. You're allowing this to be able to fit in between these two top strips. So now I just have to adhere these. So I'm gonna pre-cut a piece for each side of the wallet. And now I'm making sure that my X is staying the way that I laid it out. And I'm just gonna flip the two sides over. Let me use the weight of my fingers to just press these like this and tape it down. Nice and secure. Just trimming it so that there's a nice clean edge always and Ta-da, we have the first straps taped down. So for this side, I'll show you another technique to tape down your strips, which is a little bit easier. So I'm just going to position them exactly how I want, and then I'm going to fold them over so I'm creating a nice crease, and then lay them down along the back side here, and I'm just gonna use that crease line to let me know where to stop. And now I'm gonna take my duct tape and there we go. Just trim off the excess. So now I have the two outside edges nice and taped down. I'm gonna lay them next to each other again. You want the X to stay in place, and then I'm going to tape these two onto the back side of this opposite piece. And then with this side, I'm going to feed these through and tape it onto the back. See that? So now I'm ready to tape these down. So I'm just going to use some more of the gummy bear print to cover them up. It's important to use two different pieces because I don't want to tape along the crease because I'm going to use that crease to actually open and close the wallet. I've got gummy bears guarding my credit cards. Okay, trim off the excess, leaving a clean finish. So now that I've trimmed all the edges, you can see that this is where this side opens and this is where you access the other side. <gasps> Magic! So that is how you make a duct tape flip wallet. See you next time. <laughs>